telling the story this oh, time. I can't wait to hear awesome. it. That is amazing. It's going to be Esther, but told a little bit differently this Whoa. time. And then we have a really cool experiment about prayer. I love experiments. I and know. Prayer. So let's go. Let's do it. Today. This is one of my absolute favourite stories. I like this one too, Ella. Do you want to pretend to be Esther this time? Yes, please. Look, Ruth, I've got a crown here you could wear and then you can really pretend to be a queen. Let me just put it on. Wow. There we go. Perfect. Wow, look at you. I look like a queen. You sure do. I'm going to pretend to be Queen Esther. Good idea, Ruth. So we are going to be talking about reading the Bible and discovering why God made you. And me. Yes, and you, Ruth. God made me beautiful, but he didn't make me good looking so I could win beauty contests. Oh, no. Or because I wanted to be famous. God had a plan for me to save his people and my pretty face made it possible. See, the king of Persia wanted a new queen. He looked all over the kingdom for the prettiest woman he could find. And Ella, he picked me. You? Yes, me. Well, I probably was way more prettier than me. You're beautiful too, Ruth. You might think being a queen is the ultimate dream. Sure, all the attractive and tasty food and fancy clothes were nice, but life as a queen was scary too. One of the king's assistants wanted to kill me and all my people, and I had to risk my life to save them. I think that's why God made me so pretty so I could be the right person at the right time. It's not always easy to know exactly why God made you. God makes some people artists, some people teachers, some people doctors, and some people helpers. He gives all kinds of great skills and talents. The Bible is a perfect place to read about how God created people with all sorts of gifts and purposes. It's exciting to explore what God may have in store for you. But here's the most important thing to remember. God has one important purpose for all of us and that is to love God and love other people. Isn't that right, Ella? You're absolutely right, Ruth. The Bible can show you how to do that. I'll see that you can be the right person in the right place at the right time and do the right things too. What an amazing story. You did really well at being Esther. Thank you. Esther is such an amazing story to tell us about why God has made us. And it's a beautiful way of showing that God has made you and me and you at home for a really special purpose. We are all different because God made us different. Isn't that right, Ruth? Yes, Ella, that is absolutely right. The story of Esther is about an ordinary woman in an extraordinary situation. Esther would have had to have a lot of courage to do what she did. And we're going to do a little activity now to show how God is the one who helps us with that courage. Now we have here a Ziploc bag and we need some pencils for this too. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with water. So we are going to pretend that this bag is courage or the courage we have inside of us. And these pencils are things that we're really worried about. Now, I definitely think, and I'm sure you do, that when things that come along that are worrying us, that actually is going to pierce up what goes on and we are going to lose some of that courage but as you can see what actually happens 
because we pray and because God is the one who has control over our life, what actually happens is because we've got courage and because we can put our trust in God, the courage doesn't leak out at all. How cool is that? If you do this experiment at home or any of the crafts that we've been doing, do send them in, we'd love to see them. But this is a perfect show of what God does for us. We expect that actually that is completely gonna break us down and it hasn't.